DJ Premier, one half of Gang Star with me right now. Gonna get right down to business. First album. This stuff sound. This stuff, this stuff tastes bug, yo. That's whack. <laughs> Don't get it. Yo, the owners. Yeah. First album in four years. Yeah, about four and a half, yeah. What's, what's been going on within those last four years, man? Um, just um, just taking care of like outside business, you know, outside of the gang star situation. Me and Guru always give each other what you call creative space to do other things, you know. And I have, I, he has a record label, I have a record label. Um, my label is called Year Round. His is called Ill Kid Records. Um, I got three three artists that I have just signed, which is the NYGs from the Bronx and, uh, and Uptown, and also I have a black poet from Queensbridge who is a veteran in the game. He did it way back in the day. He was the first one to discard with one when he did the Bridges Over. He did a record called Beat You Down. KRS took it to heart and did a record called I'm Still Number One, the remix, and he tried to just pull it on that. So back then, you know, he had the balls to just got this the whole kit boogie down production, you know, without any any fear. And he's still ill like that, still ill, so I'm putting him out. Um, also I got Ray Roulette, the hitman, who's from uh, the NYG's camp, he's from Brooklyn. He's a young kid. You know, with real hungry, he's super hungry, real unorthodox style. And I'm bringing original hip hop back to the game, real, real rap, you know. That's what's up. You know the streets talk, right? And the biggest question right now on the streets is where's the game store at? June 24th. You ain't got to worry about nothing. Real hip hop is back. June 24th, the new album. But the question that they're asking the question to is what's your take on bootlegging, downloading, downloading now? It depends on it depends on the aspect of what, what bootlegging is. I mean, I buy bootleg vinyl when I can't find the vinyl in the store because we want to play it so we can rub it to sell the record that you buy. Um, I ain't with the bootleg CD of the whole album because for one, the quality and the artwork is not worth your pennies. And then on top of that, it's like if they're stealing, you steal from them. You know, I see them with it, I'ma snatch it. You know, but when it comes to downloading. That came because the record label started fucking up the whole, you know, can I cut? All right, I mean, because I talk natural, you know? All right, well, I'll, I'll, I'll talk natural. No doubt. The record label started messing up the industry by allowing people to take the position of signing what they call hip-hop artists, and then not signing the right artists that are, that are hip-hop oriented. We know hip-hop, and the people working behind those desks, they have all that millions of dollars are not real purists of the music. They're not knowledgeable and they don't really care about what we're really doing. They're more about their job and that's it. If you're only caring about your job and not the, the, what the job calls for, you're not real and you're also killing up, killing us and taking food out of our mouths and putting it in the mouths of people that don't deserve that money. So, you know, we, we go against that by, you know, I see that that's why downloading pops up. Everybody's trying to find an avenue to get their music out there. And so it's all great, you know what I mean? I, you can't be mad at it. The labels were late, I'm catching on to that. That's why they, it's called getting caught with your pants down. My pants ain't never caught down, you know what I'm saying? Unless I'm taking it off to have, have a sex with a little hate. Because <laughs> the bootleggers do not have it. Nah, not at all. What well, I, we did, we just turned it into our label, because our label gave us problems too. You know what I'm saying? So when they did that, we held our record hostage until it was proper with our situation, because we're veterans to this shit, to this, and we know what we're doing. So once they finally gave us what we wanted, we said, here's the album. They gave us a release date, June 24th. Check this out. What, what's hard for me to fathom right now is the many years you've been to this game, you guys still don't have a flattened out. Yep. That's, it's just, that's just because we haven't been on really a dope. We've never been on a rap label. Hip-hop label. We've been on a rock, rock and roll label. Yeah. So we've always been on a label that was trying to have an urban side and used us as an experiment. You know what I mean? Now, are, are you using, is that a, is that a driving force with you guys? Is that, is that adds to your hunger? Or is that a goal for you guys? And we, we win. When this album was completed, did you say after it was mixed out and everything, this is the one? I mean, we, we, nah, we, we know, like, we know oh, definitely this is the one. I we don't know if it's going to go platinum or not, or not but... Being that we've been in the game as long as we've been in, we don't even care about that really so much as we care about just continuing to do what we've been doing and being able to eat and feed our, our family and our homeboys. That's what it's about. I mean, we plant them in the streets anywhere. You know, so there was one time I was in a, I was, I don't drink no more, but I was in a bar one time and the dude actually argued with me because I told him we weren't platinum. He didn't believe it. So, I mean, really, it's like, 
I'd rather not even focus even on that because too much, society, too much of society and too much of the industry is focused on how much that platinum. Half them dudes are whack and they won't be around next year. I want to feed off that. I think that the standards in hip hop right, right now right, are right, plumbing. Right, right. It's like you can go platinum with anything now. All of this, right. going platinum takes radio play. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of radio play. And we're so, not one of those type yeah. of groups. So when you, when, 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 you, when you don't get a lot of radio play, that means really you're doing the right thing. Yeah. When you get a lot of radio play, you're really doing the wrong thing. So, uh, so some people. Some people yeah. are dope, though. Regardless, like I think Most Eminem is dope, Jay Z is dope, certain cats are dope. Regardless, Snoop Dogg is dope. Regardless, but certain, you know, a lot of stuff that's getting played is not really hip hop. We call it something else. I got Tinker Bell, Tinker beats. Bell beats, Tinker Bell. I heard them little thing thing Triton. You know, Turn because it's more out pleasant out to the ear, so radio likes that. You know what I mean? You throw somebody on the hook singing. I mean, we got songs with people singing, but we bring them into the gangstar <laughs> element. What's up? What so, so like, when we did a song with Total or the song we did with, with KC and JoJo, that they, came, they had to come into our element. So it was still grimy, you know what I mean? So I just, I just been told that I got to wrap it up, but I want to get down to business. June 24th. That's right, June 24th. What should we expect? The Real Hip Hop, 17 tracks, joints. You got Snoop Dogg on the album. We got my man Jada Kiss. That's we right. got Fat Joe and M.O.P. We got uh, we got Crumb Snatcher. We got my man Boy Big. We got my man Smiley. This is one of, uh, one of the few albums that we had a lot of collaborations, but they sound like gang star records. You know what I'm saying? And Anything they, different on Big, big Shook, hold you know, on. A lot of scratches. Big a lot of scratches and, and a lot of lyrical skills. Man. Right. Everybody came to the place. NYGs like, and yeah, 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 8 Stacks. 8 Stacks well. forbidden everybody. And like I said, a lot of scratching on this album. So, you know, I'm taking people to school, showing them. Yeah, I, got, I, I even went back to some old Transformers styles. I'm okay. doing my We, we evolve with the times, man. Yo, but one we, more. We stick like my, to like our man, formula. Like my man said earlier, we don't ever age. You know what I'm saying? Don't I still look like I'm 12? Yeah, yeah. Yo. 12 and a half. All right, then. Look at that. Look at that. 20 years from now, when you're sitting around. Just 1990. It's 2003. I just didn't That's all. He said 20. Hold on. Listen to this question, bro. Because my man right there, he said I never age. Listen to the question, 20 years from now, when you're lapping with the grandkids, watching Hip Hop's Greatest, where's Gangstar going to fall in? That's one of the the best yet, man. Yeah, we got to be one of the best in the game. But the the thing is... We're not really looking for a whole bunch of accolades. As long as our core audience is smelling us and feeling us, and they pass that on to their babies and all that, and, yo, this is what I listened to when I was, that's all good. And that's enough for us, you know? And as long as the artists who we look up to and the artists who stuff we're fans of, they like us, that's what's up. You can't put a monetary right. value that's on all that we, That's all we really, that's what we wanted when we was coming up. We was like, yeah. oh, Rock Kim says I like, I like this stuff. EPMD used to be like, yo, y'all dope. So we was like, all right, we made it. You know, like I, see, I saw Run, like, like how you said, you couldn't believe and all that. Tell them I'm dope. I was like, I couldn't believe that. I actually didn't the money next to those guys. KRS One, Chuck D, you know, the guys I saw KRS One in the store buying my record on 12. I was like, oh man. Dana Dane was calling me a lesson. We won. I was bugging. Cause I didn't have no record deal when he was doing this. All right. Yo, if y'all know who Dana Dane is, turn the camera off because y'all are late. We do the knowledge of right this hip hop stuff. Right now, the new cats that, that we check in for is, is the cats we got in our camp that we mentioned. Gangstar Foundation, Big Shug. H stacks, you know what I mean? Right. And he's got year round records. Yeah, I just tell him about year round. Told, broke told, it down. Yeah, I told him. Yeah, it'll be good records. Again. I got Crumb Snatcher, my man Bless from Canada. I'm about to send some vinyl over here to these guys on Bless. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Bananas. And then also, I got Black Jesus from Harlem and my man Mendoza from Brooklyn. You put it to Nick. So that's what's up, you know? But uh, to any aspiring artist you know, out there, be original. Because back in the day, you used to get stepped to, might even got beat up and stomped out for biting. Nowadays, it seems like it's okay to bite. I'm not with that. Yeah. Bite me. It's not allowed. Be original. And, you know, if I were to do one thing different, if I were to be a new artist now, I would put my stuff out independently because that's how you. you it, it's I'm a doing. grind. It's a serious grind, but in the end, you control more. Yeah, I'm you doing everything. That one banger. Yeah, I'm doing you all get the hood behind you and you network. You get people to play it, that's what's up.